Hello, in this video we are going to look at how to do the basic print command and look at some basic skip codes as well in Python 3. So let's get started. So we're going to say file, we're going to say new, and we're going to make a new Python file. And we're going to call this print example, call it whatever you want. Um, and remember Python runs top down. It's helpful if you right click here on the left hand side and you say show line numbers. Even though our programs are small right now, as they grow, these line numbers are helpful when you're working with other people. And let's do it. So we just write print bracket low world. So once that's done, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here the first time and I'm using PyCharm, which is a specific IDE for Python, integrated development environment. Um, and the first time I run this, I'm going to actually right click and select run print example. If I come up here and print, select this button to run it, it actually is going to run the previous one that has been executed. So I'm going to come down here, hit run print example, and there's my hello world. Um, notice here, if I come up here now, it says run print example. Um, so this prints out hello world to the screen. So let's just talk about a couple other things. Um, anything following a hashtag is a comment in Python 3. Um, in Python 2 as well. Um, Python 3 doesn't actually distinguish between um, double quotes and single quotes. Um, you'll see I tend to use double quotes just out of habit from Java. And if I run this again, you're going to see hello world single quotes. There is a technical difference, but we're really not interested in it at that point. Now, let's say I wanted to print something on two lines. Well, what I can do is I can write two print statements just like that. But there's something called an escape code. There's a whole bunch of escape codes. Escape codes are specific characters that follow a backslash. One way to remember the difference between a backslash and a forward slash is backslashes are cool, so they lean backwards. Anyways, that's how I remember it. So if I hit print, and I'm going to say line one, space line two, and I run this, we'll see in the console, we'll see line one, line two, and notice they're both on the same line. In order to to have line one on the first line and line two on the subsequent line, I can put a backslash n in there. Notice how the backslash n doesn't take the same color as the other text inside the quotes. That's that's how the IDE tells us is something special. If I run this now, I see line one on one line, line two on the other line. I hope that video helped. If you have any questions, feel free to post them or send me a message. Have a great day.